the world is growing more and more desperate for peace between Russia and Ukraine. With prices and fuel inflation continuing to rise, the hurt is becoming unbearable for some, as the demands from Ukraine grow, so do the related costs, in equipment and funds. Obviously, it's nothing like what the poor Ukrainians are experiencing, but it's all relative and people are looking for ways out of the malaise. Concerningly those under strain are reaching a point where they will do anything to improve the situation, including the potential of selling out Ukraine for peace. What worries us, is that even the most ardent supporters of Ukraine are starting to crack under the pressure and that is exactly what Putin is hoping for. You see, Russia cannot win this war, so they are now simply trying to outlast Kiev and the West. It looks like it is starting to work. make you think? President Biden told has told reporters that he was ready to meet the Russian leader, if in fact there is an interest in him deciding that he's looking for a way to end the war. Now this wasn't the most desperate plea for peace, but it was a crack, just a sliver that shows interest. With the Congress now in Republican hands, there is ever the chance that this crack will grow. Biden is old, his country is under pressure, he may grow weary of the strain, allowing that crack to grow ever further. Before we continue, can I ask you to drop a like and subscribe? We love your comments and look forward to them. Then of course there are the Germans, who have never been the greatest of supporters to the Ukrainian cause, due to their reliance on Russian fuel. Currently Germany is in a mess, much like the rest of the world and they may start to think that a peace deal is the only way out. A peace deal at any cost. German Chancellor Olaf Scholl spoke to President Putin for the first time since September, very recently. During the hour-long call, Berlin said the German leader had urged his counterpart to find a diplomatic solution that involved pulling Russian troops out of Ukraine, as soon as possible. Importantly, the Kremlin said the German side had pushed for the call, this implies a degree of desperation on the part of the Germans. Mr. Putin had urged Berlin to reconsider its approaches in the context of the Ukrainian events. President Putin had drawn attention to the destructive line of Western states including Germany, and Kiev completely rejected the idea of talks, the Kremlin added. We believe that Olaf Schultz is a weak politician, and will start in due course to look for ways to achieve a peace that is not beneficial to the Ukrainians. In referencing the comments by Biden, the Russians have made their thoughts clear. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov told reporters that Mr. Putin remained open to talks aimed to ensure our interests. But that Moscow was certainly not ready to accept US conditions, that Russia had to leave Ukraine before peace could be concluded and that Putin would only consider peace talks if their annexed regions were recognized. But how can we even consider peace without considering how the Ukrainians feel? This was clearly laid out and covered in the press by President Zelensky, who laid out some extremely straightforward and understandable red lines for peace talks to happen. Of course, Putin will yield to nothing. This would imply weakness and he cannot afford that, it would arguably result in his toppling. So, we are stuck and reaching a dangerous point. The point where Western allies of Ukraine start to put pressure on Ukraine to give. To give up their land, to give up their principles and inevitably their freedom. There is precedent, we did it with Hitler and the country of Czechoslovakia. The world has never been shy to throw others to the wolves in order to save themselves. Before the great campaign that freed Europe of the Nazi tyranny, there was a lot of buggering around that almost cost us everything. Frankly we have done it again with Putin. After what the Russians did to Ukraine, how did they retain their position as a permanent member of the Security Council with a veto to boot? What are we teaching the world by allowing them to be part of the diplomatic world when they are clearly not interested in diplomacy? If I was President Zelensky, I would be pushing his troops like an angry jockey. The writing is on the wall and the world will turn against Ukraine soon. They will do it with a sorry look and in the name of peace, but Ukraine will get the back end of this stick. To those in power, stay the course and be prepared. We end tyranny here or it will grow.